You can't talk about the moral decay in society unless you're willing to have a conversation about pornography. And we're going to have somebody on in the future and we're going to dig into this because I'm really interested in what it's doing to men in particular, what it's doing to sexuality, what it's doing to young kids now, and what it's doing to relationships that trickles out to community, that trickles out to country. But I saw this article and it said Las Vegas hotels to deliver VR porn headsets via robot to lonely guests. Las Vegas. Who knew? Look at this. Virtual reality headsets that have porn. This is no joke. This is welcome to 22. Welcome to the moral decay that's 22. 2022. Visitors to Las Vegas won't even need to leave their hotel rooms to get a taste of Sin City. Oh, how convenient. VR bangers. That's what they're called. Okay. <laughs> Not hiding it, at least. At least they're creative. i got to give them that. A company that specializes in pornographic films, especially tailored to three-dimensional virtual reality headsets, they touched all the bases here, as my husband said. They got the virtual. They got the porn. It's like decay at every level. How can we wreck a society? Let's do it. Let's see who bites. It's partnering with several Vegas hotels to offer helmets preloaded with adult content to guests eager to indulge their need for instant gratification. Instant gratification, by the way, is the enemy of success. It's the enemy. You want to be successful? That need for instant gratification, it's going to get you. It's going to wreck you. The idea to use the robots changed everything, Abramovich said. Apparently, he's the CEO of VR bangers. <laughs> Stand up, guy. We've even created some special scenes to ensure that they offer even greater levels of immersion and realism. Well, look at that. I'm not even going to ask what that is that Tyler's put on the screen because I don't want to know. Looks like some type of robot. I don't that's, know what's coming out of there. That's the delivery robot. Oh, that's the delivery robot. How exciting. So, again, now you're a free man, you're a free woman, you're an adult. This is for 18 and up. You can do what you want. You can do what you want. But this is wrecking you. You know what they want? They want you sitting in a hotel room. You're in Vegas. Get outside. You want to go meet somebody? You want to have some fun? Go walk up to somebody. Strike up a conversation. Go out dancing. Take someone to dinner. Get some heat going on. Make it happen. No. They want you sitting in your hotel room like an overgrown baby, afraid of rejection, afraid of the world outside. It's scary. They want you watching, addicted to pornography that's totally impossible for people to recreate in real life, that, that sets the bar here for weirdness and craziness. So when you go to actually have sex with a real live woman, you're bored, right? And they want you paying for it. Because it's, it's constant cash flow. The more of a vegetable you are, the more money they make. They don't care that society's in decay. They need society to be in decay. They need your relationship to be fucked up. They need that to happen in order to make money. They need your demand for this product. You know the free market. You know how it works. You say we don't want it. That product dies. So I'm inviting you to make it die. It's an invitation. I'm not going to force you. I don't force anything. I believe in freedom. I believe in the marketplace. Let it thrive or let it die, but it's up to you. So I wanted to bring something that I found, because we are going to talk in depth about pornography. I think it's a really important point. But I found this. I did a quick search from Utah State University. They did a great job of talking about porn. This is from July of 2022 and the negative impacts. And they just outlined a few things here. Pornography can have negative consequences for both the user and his or her intimate partner. Some of the common damaging effects of pornography for users can include addiction, isolation, increased aggression, distorted beliefs and perceptions about relationships and sexuality, negative feelings about themselves, and neglecting other areas of their lives. Take a look at the list that they have there. User faces difficulty becoming sexually aroused without pornography. That's not good. User loses interest and engages in fewer sexual experiences with the partner that they have. Why? Because, well, they're being stimulated by the porn, so they don't need their partner anymore. Hence, there's distance that happens in the relationship, problems that arise in the relationship. Partner may view pornography use as infidelity and a betrayal to the relationship, so people break up over that. Maybe your wife doesn't want you sitting looking at some fake nonsense going on. She wants to connect with you in the comfort of your own bedroom. It turns into a problem. Guess who wins? The people who make this garbage. 
they make a lot of money. Oh, we broke up another relationship. Now he'll really want more porn. It's not just men. Women, this goes for women too, but the audience is largely men for this kind of stuff. If you look at the demographics and the breakdown, it's just a reality. Partner feels sexually inadequate and threatened by pornography use. Then you have all these insecurities that arise in a relationship that become a problem. Partner may feel that certain sexual activities desired by user are objectionable. Why? Because you're watching this, you're watching porn, all of a sudden you're like, wow, now I'm bored of this. Let's make it crazier. Oh, let's make it before you know. It's like you're in a jungle scene. Something's going on. You don't even, it's madness. You're not going to recreate that on a Saturday night in your bedroom. So now that intimacy, that real intimacy, that strengthens bonds, that strengthens you, that makes you feel like a man, that goes away. And instead, you're this guy that's got VR glasses on trying to make something happen with a fake robot in a porn scene and paying for it. Talk about emasculating. They're not growing men. They're taking your manhood from you and you're letting them do it. So stop. Relationship trust decreases. One or both partners may be concerned about children's exposure. That's another thing you got to think about. you got to think about how this trickles out. And I know sometimes you're a single guy out there. I'm talking to men now. I'm talking to the guys listening to this because, as I said, there's going to be times that I talk more to women. In fact, at the end of this show, I'm going to talk to women because they're, they're causing some problems, too, that we need to set right. Where, I should say. I'm a woman as well. I know that's controversial, but I am. But guys, this stuff trickles out. If you're a dad, if you're going to be a dad one day, your relationship being a problem because of this stuff, it trickles out. Everything you do trickles out. Think about it as like what happens at the dinner table that goes wrong trickles out to the community, trickles out beyond the community to the city, to the state, to the country. And now you have a country that's in decay. You have intimacy that doesn't matter to people anymore, real intimacy. You have bonds between people that are getting broken. So please think about this. You are always entitled to make a choice for yourself as an adult, but you also need to think about what the consequences are of those decisions. You want to get feisty? Get feisty with your girl. It will be more fun, I promise you, than stay, and you will feel like a man after that. That's not how you're going to feel when you take off your virtual reality glasses and you take out your wallet and you pay for your experience. It's just not. It's just not. They're shrinking men. Little by little, you guys are shrinking, and I don't want shrunken men. If you like the short clip, you can catch another one here, or you can catch the full episode right here.